Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and today I just got paid so you can guess what the video is. We're gonna buy some more books. <laughs> I've been so 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 excited to film this video for you guys just because I absolutely love buying books and I wanted to film it for you. So my excitement of buying books plus filming videos for you guys created the greatest collaboration of all time. Come book shopping with me. Still hashtag lockdown coronavirus edition. Yeah, because the world is still shit. So I still don't want to go out to the bookstores just yet. I know bookstores are back open and stuff, but just for me, touching books and all that sort of stuff, I don't kind of want to do. So online shopping, it still is. We're going to hit up Amazon today because recently I have been putting on my Amazon, like keeping up with my Amazon wish list, and there's a lot of books on there that I want to get to ASAP. So yeah, I'm also going to do some randomising and I thought it would also be quite fun to get my TBR prompts from my August TBR game and pick a few of those and buy books based off those prompts. So this is going to be a fun video. I have a budget in mind, but we'll see where we get to. Let's go shopping. Ah! <laughs> Let's go straight to my wish list. Also, you can probably tell my laptop is off to the side again. Now, the latest one I have added is The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo, and that's because I recently finished Cat Bunny Land by Elizabeth Acevedo and absolutely adored it. I gave it five stars, it was incredible, and now I just want to read her entire library. I have already, with a fire on high in on my bookshelf already, yet to be read, very, very excited to get to, but I haven't got The Poet X, so. I think that's hopping straight into my basket. Ah! Oh, my laptop's falling. Okay. Let's mosey on. I've really been interested in This Is My America as well as Full Disclosure. I would personally go this time Full Disclosure just because it's cheaper. I can buy more books that way. Um, that's how I shop, tends to be what the price tag is. Let's keep scrolling. Oh, I really wanted to read The Gravity of Us as well because Phil Stampmer's latest book release, it's coming out in 2021, but he's just put the cover reveal and the blurb up on Twitter and it sounds so good. So now I really, really want to get to The Gravity of Us. Mm, I'm tempted, I'm tempted. I have so many books on here. Ah, This one looks out of place, but this is one of the books I remember reading as a child and absolutely loving. And I remember reading it on the plane and just adoring it. And then I suddenly found it. I did a bit of Googling saying suddenly found it. I did a bit of Googling and I found it and I kind of want to do a video rereading the books I actually remember reading as a child. So that's in my like book list just for that video purpose if I ever get around to doing it, but obviously I'm not going to buy it today. I could buy another I Heart to continue with my collection because I have just recently started collecting them. I have read all eight books of the I Heart series by Lindsay Kelk. I have yet to collect them all because I listen to them all on audiobook and I'm slowly buying them all. I've only brought the first one, I Heart New York. Do I get a second one? Maybe. I'll add it to my basket because I need to collect them eventually and what better way to collect them on payday. <laughs> um, I put all the newly designed Marion Keys books in my wishlist as well but having reread Angels recently and not really enjoying it I'm very apprehensive on actually purchasing these ones now so we're gonna skim past those. Oh, I know which book I do want to buy that isn't on my wish list actually. So we're gonna we're gonna quickly hop over to Head Over Heels. This is a book that I I discovered this book um from Emily from A Little Writer M. I absolutely adore her channel. I will link her down below and up above. She's one of my favourite booktubers for sure. Um she made me discover this book. Head Over Heels by Hannah or Orenstein, I want to say her name is. This is a book based around gymnastics and if you didn't know, I have a massive passion for gymnastics. I used to do it when I was little, 
Um, I had to, I stopped it, but even if I continued on with it, I would have had to have stopped it later in life because of my health. So I'm kind of silver linings grateful that I did stop it when I did before I got too into it, into, into like the competitiveness of it. Um, but I still absolutely love watching it. Always, the only sport I watch on the avidly is gymnastics on TV. Always watch it on the Olympics. Always watch all the world championships, European championships, etc., etc. I just love the sport so much. This book centers around gymnastics, so of course I want to pick it up. And Emily absolutely loved it, so I do think I want to add that one to my basket. Ah, I love buying books. Oh, I haven't bought them yet. I love adding books to my cart knowing that I'm actually going to buy them. <laughs> Ooh, yes, I want to buy a fan. So <laughs> that's on my recently viewed. Um, let's go back to my wish list. No, that's my stationery wish list. You don't need to see that. We're here for the books. I could do a stationery shop with me too, though, to be fair, because I absolutely love stationery too. Let's skim back down to where we were. Pass, pass, pass. Yeah, okay, we're here. These are just books that I've kind of interested in, but not like really want to read right now books as I'm getting further down. And obviously I keep looking at the price tags. I just want to be able to buy more books rather than buy more expensive books. And on that note, I'm going to pick up Radio Silence by Alice Osman. Yeah, I think I'll buy that. Ooh, I know I'm getting to the end of my wish list now. This is just a view of what my wish list actually looks like. So I'm literally just scrolling through the entirety of it. Okay, and that's my wish list. I'm gonna put on the Gravity of Us. Where's it gone? here and I'm going to remove I Heart Hollywood. I have read it and I'm really in the mood to read new books at the minute so I'm going to remove I Heart Hollywood. Delete that for now and I'm going to buy a few more books and use Goodreads Random Generator for a couple of them and use my TVR prompts for a couple of them too. My laptop keeps sliding off. <laughs> Stay on the beanbag. <sighs> Doesn't know how to sit still for a video. Okay, let's go to Goodreads. Let's go to my interested in, I have 137 books on my interested in bookshelf. And this is the bookshelf I put all the books that I'm interested in. So anytime I watch a booktube video and there's a book on there that sounds interesting to me, I'll add it to this list. I go through it quite regularly and update it, get rid of books, just in case I'm not interested in them anymore. But I've been adding a lot to these, um, this list recently, especially in the last week or so, because I've been looking forward to payday and buying books and doing this video for you guys. So I've been adding a lot of books. So um, let's go to list view. Oh, looking at that screen, The Love Square by Laura Jane Williams was on Amazon for £2.50 yesterday. She tweeted about it just to let her like followers know and I had to pick it up because I brought the ebook of it and I haven't yet read it and I much prefer reading physical books anyway. So when a book is £2.50, I'm going to pick it up and because I ordered it through Amazon Prime and I ordered it at like 6am in the morning. It actually came at 7pm yesterday. So same day delivery, literally. So I have already brought a book. <laughs> I'm really, 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 really excited to get to this one. And hopefully now that I have a physical copy of it, I'll get to it quicker than um, it being an ebook for me. Just because I do actually prefer reading books physically than ebooks. I just read ebooks out of convenience sometimes and sometimes... Obviously I'm subscribed to Scribd and that gives you audiobooks and ebooks for a monthly subscription and that tends to be the cheaper way of reading um, sometimes. So I don't tend to gravitate towards ebooks unless they're on Scribd and I had that on iBooks so I just didn't really ever feel like picking it up and now I've got a physical copy of it, I can actually read it, I'm very, very excited. So yeah, let's go to randomise this list. Random. What's it gonna put me at? 
mm, no. <laughs> I'm not, I don't feel like picking up a Casey West book at the minute. And plus this is the third book. I haven't read the second book. So that's a no. Refresh. I could just go down to the next level, but I wanted to refresh. Yes, smash it. Okay. <laughs> this is literally a book I put on yesterday. Oh no, four days ago. I only put it on four days ago. But so many people have been talking about this at the minute and I want to read it. What is it about? Ooh. Oh, I can't read it. It's not released yet. So that's a shame. Next one. This is this went really well last time. I don't know why it's not going as well this time. No, I'm not really interested in reading that book anymore. So I'm not gonna waste my money on it. If I do wanna read it, it's actually on Scribd. So we're not going to read that one either. Come on, Goodreads, give me a no, I don't want poetry at the minute. This, guys, this isn't going well. <laughs> uh, every other weekend. Why did I put this on my... Okay, it's got an average rating of four stars, but I can't actually remember why I put it on my Goodreads, so let's have a look. <laughs> Can life begin again every other weekend? Adam Mahogany's life used to be awesome, a straight A's, close friends, and a home life so perfect that it could have been a TV show straight out of the 50s. You can tell by the way I'm reading it, I'm not interested in that one. So, <laughs> on again. Come on, Goodreads. Last time, otherwise we're going to prompts because this is stupid. No, and then even the second one's per X. <clears throat> this is, come on. Dear Martin, I have really wanted to read Dear Martin and the sequel is actually coming out. Nick Stone has um, announced that the sequel's coming. So maybe I do pick up Dear Martin. I think this is like silver lining because I've been wanting to read this book for ages but I always keep putting it off so now's the time I'm actually gonna buy it and read it because it'll be in my possession. I'm gonna add that to basket and then we're gonna do a random, I have all my prompts here, Hopefully one of them will relate to a book I can actually buy because I have like TBR vet and Twitter poll and stuff on here too. But like short book and book that begins with the and stuff also included in this prompt pile. So I'm gonna look away and pull a prompt out. Boyfriend pick. <laughs> That's funny because he actually said, when I said I was gonna film this video, he goes, give me some money and I'll buy you some books. And I was like, I don't wanna do that video yet. I just wanna go and sit down and buy some books. So I'm gonna do a whole video dedicated to my boyfriend buying me books. So that one's going to the side. Let's pick again. Jesus, this random generator ideas are not going down well today. Highest rated. Okay, I can do that. I'll go to Goodreads and buy the highest rated book on my um, interested in list. So that will be interesting. And plus my laptop's dying, so it's just telling me that to stop buying books, basically. <laughs> it's like, I'm dying, I don't need to buy. And I was like, why is it dying so quickly? I'm just browsing books, but I'm also recording my screen. So, right, ascending order, rating. What's it gonna be? I've done it, so we need to do ascending. <laughs> I was like, 3.7, that can't be right. I'm literally so confused. What the hell is going on? 1, 4, 4, 5, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. See, that now seems to be working. Oh, average rating. Mm. <laughs> okay, that's my error. Average rating. We did my rating, so all the books with zero stars came up. But that's lowest rating. Right. 
I think we're gonna actually get there this guy this time. Perfect on paper. It's not out yet. <laughs> as far as you can tell, it's not out yet. My f first day of my life is not out yet. I don't want to read poetry. This is my America. Okay, that's fine. We'll we'll go we'll go for this is my America. Because all the other ones haven't out yet. Why do I keep going to my stationery list? Book wish list. I actually said right at the beginning that I wanted to read this book, but we'll continue on. Add to basket. I just want to see. I don't know if this has paperback yet because I always prefer. No, it's not. Okay, cool. So let's quickly see exactly what I've decided to pick up. Okay, so we picked up This Is My America, Dear Martin, The Gravity of Us, Radio Silence, Head Over Heels, and The Poet X. Six books, a lot of money spent, but I'm so excited to read all of them and add to my Alice Oldsman collection. And just, yeah, I'm. this has been a good book shopping. I'm excited, but I'm gonna finish off this video before my laptop one dies and two takes off because it's whirring a lot. <laughs> but yeah, that's my second video in the Come Book Shopping With Me series. I think this is gonna become like a, like a series because I do really, really enjoy making these videos for you guys. So yeah. I really, really enjoyed this video and I have some really exciting books coming my way, probably tomorrow because this girl has Amazon Prime. <laughs> I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a like and subscribe. Um, everything will be down below, the links to all these books, um, Goodreads and Amazons, just in case you're interested in picking any of these up yourself, as well as my social media links um, because I'm very active on Twitter and if you're interested in Disney, I would highly recommend checking my Instagram out at the minute because I'm flashbacking to my summer last year in Walt Disney World. So yeah, I think that's about it. Oh, and I'll see my Goodreads if you want to become friends with me on Goodreads. So yeah, all that's linked down below. Yeah, that's it. I'll do my outro. So if you like what you saw and like what you heard, please give this video a like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.